This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Hello and welcome to the late night news with me Ramanath and the top stories at this up. After the Golden Globe, BAFTA and Oscars now two Grammy awards for the Mozart of Madras. We got two Grammys again and God bless you all for your prayers and good wishes and love. The CBI finally gets hold of the death certificate of slain LTT chief Prabhakaran. CBI has told me that they have received uh, documentation from the government of uh, Sri Lanka uh, confirming the death of Prabhakar. The economic offences wing gets hold of property documents of JBJ developers worth 10 crore rupees, 2,000 investors duped by the firm. And look how easy it is to buy a fitness certificate for a vehicle that's not roadworthy, an NDTV Hindu exclusive investigation. This is insane. God is great again. That's what A.R. Rahman had to say after the Jai Ho magic worked yet again. He has won two Grammy Awards. Rahman won Best Compilation Soundtrack for a Motion Picture and Jai Ho won Best Motion Picture Song. Rahman shares the Grammy with lyricist Gulzar who penned the song Jai Ho. On receiving the awards, the maestro in his speech thanked God, his family, friends and the Slumdog Millionaire team. Hey guys, back in India. Awesome, we got two Grammys again. And God bless you all for your prayers and good wishes and love. Well, it's Jai Ho all the way from Chennai to Los Angeles of the two Grammy Awards backed by A.R. Rahman for his music score in Slumdog Millionaire. One of them is obviously for what is becoming an unofficial national anthem, Jai Ho. Minal Shah reports. The Mozart of Madras has done it again. After the Oscars, A.R. Rahman has now bagged the biggest global honour for a musician, the Grammy Awards. It was the Jai Ho mantra once again that won it for him and he shares the prize with lyricist Gulzar. And to top it off, there was a second Grammy for the best compilation soundtrack for a motion picture. For his family here, it was a moment of celebration. Actually, uh, we celebrated uh, in prayers only. Overall, I'm very happy and I'm also very proud being Rahman's sister. Like, he has won almost all the, uh, the thing, worldwide awards and all. Uh, can you sing? A song for Rahman. Yes, of course. Jai Ho, Jai Ho, Jai Ho, Jai Ho. Rahman beat rivals Quentin Tarantino for Inglorious Bastards and rock star Bruce Springsteen in the soundtrack and best song categories, respectively. For his fans, it was a double bonanza. After the Oscars, winning the Grammy was the icing on the cake. His fans celebrated the feat by distributing sweets and bursting crackers. As he says, all glory to God and as we say, all glories to him. India is a very good name. It's a very good name. Obviously, it's uh, what you call a sweet of our favourite choice given to us again and again and again. We pray for him. Rahman a number of prestigious international awards, including two Oscars, the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, Critics' Choice Award and the Golden Globe. The song has now grown to the proportions of an anthem for the youth. Winning the Grammy Award still remains a dream for many musicians, but A.R. Rahman has made this dream come true. But being the modest person he is, he's attributed all his glory to God. In Chennai with camera person Srinivas, Minal Shah, NDTV Hindu. 
Earlier, we were joined by lead guitarist Sanjeev Thomas in our studio. Let's listen in. Definitely. Um, first of all, let's be all happy for ARMR winning the award. And uh, I mean, this is, um, we all know what his talent is, where it comes from, and we've all grown up with his music all these years. And uh, definitely, he, I guess, why he's not won an award really from outside or anywhere. Uh, was because he was not a person who was uh, looking for that. He was always trying to excel in music. You know, that was his aim. His aim wasn't to like be out there, be marketable, be the face of India or something like that. No, that was not his priority. His priority was to do his job and to excel in music. And you know, that's what. Uh, even though it's late, it's worth it, and it's already like a lifetime achievement award. Absolutely. Now, in this case, um, you know, some people would like to call this uh, question controversial, but that's certainly not my intention. But do you think it's the Slumdog Millionaire brand, the brand of Hollywood, which perhaps worked that, you know, he's getting so many awards? Jaiho definitely, uh, many would agree, I'm sure, is not best, is not among his, the best of his work. You know, there are many other songs which uh, he's done amazing work with. Yeah. Do you think it's the Slumdog Millionaire brand which worked for him this time? I mean, definitely the Oscars uh, and the Grammys is. Uh, awards connected to Hollywood and so um, it's only when you excel in Hollywood that you would get an award from the Oscars or the Grammys and so uh, that is exactly why that he's got those awards but then since even though the whole world is not involved in such a big honor um, right now since he's done Slum Dog Millionaire and I think the soundtrack was good for what uh, the movie was I mean the movie needed that music and he, that's what he gave and uh, it's proven successful everywhere. I mean, we might have different opinions because we have grown up with a different brand of music of his. But um, I would definitely say, I mean, uh, this is his time and he's just got it. He's just uh, done his thing. He's just, you know, uh, stuck there and persevered right. through everything. You know? All right. Now, you've worked closely with uh, A.R. Yeah. What do you think makes him the genius, the musical genius he is? What is it that makes him tick of what you've seen of him? I mean, exactly what I said, I mean, uh, after it's been almost a year now that he's won the Oscars and uh, probably if it was me who had won the Oscars, I'd probably be chilling in a beach or something like that, you know, taking life easier now that I have, you know, established myself so much and all that. But AR is just a person who just keep pushing himself, you know, wherever he is, whatever he has attained doesn't stop him at all. He's just continuously working, he's just like meeting new musicians, he's like bringing the world together in his own way. You know, he's more than a representative of India, he's a representative of the world. And you know, that's what he's always, you know, pushed for. And you know, compared to other music directors who have always probably stuck to that area of their expertise and probably stayed in that area of India. But he has just broken all of that and it's just gone all over the world because of his constant pushing, his constant That's perseverance. Sheer yeah. potential, raw, yeah. raw talent. Okay, finally, you know, uh, if not Jai Ho, what are the other songs, what are the other works which you think deserve so many awards? <laughs> Something Indian. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'm on the tour and so I keep listening to many songs. We change our set list different times and in, in, in a place, particular place, we uh, take a few uh, a good selection of songs of his and then go to another place we you know have another selection so you keep getting reminded of the different kinds of songs that he has made during these 20 years all right news and updates will continue keep watching the late night news